Did you know that every nine seconds, a woman in the U.S. is beaten or assaulted by a current or ex-significant other? Furthermore, one in four men are victims of a form of physical violence by an intimate lover. Domestic Violence Awareness launched nationwide in 1987. It is a way to connect and unite individuals as an organization working on domestic violence issues and bringing awareness nationwide to this traumatic form of abuse. Hello, good people, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanya Felice, and here on this channel, we chat about all things fragrance, beauty, love, life, and whatever else I decide to throw in the pot. Guys, today, as you saw from the thumbnail, as you saw from the statistics that I spoke about in the beginning of this video, we are going to be chatting a little bit about domestic violence. This video is in honor of those women, men, children who has suffered from domestic violence, who are in domestic violence related relationships at this point. We as a group are just shedding some light on what's happening worldwide and just being a voice for those people in some kind of way. This video is in collaboration with a plethora of beautiful women. So Cassandra Jones from her channel and all of the um, YouTubers who are influencers who participated in this video, I will link their information in the description box for you. Um, but it was started by Miss Cassandra Jones. I'm so glad that she invited me um, to partake in this video. But we have Fab Finds by Keetra. We have Ruth from Ruth Gifted Hands. We have Lulu from Lulu's channel. We also have Dr. Rose from Dr. Rose's Perfume Corner. We have Miss Gabby from The Fragrantition. And we also have, let's see if I missed anybody. Let's see, we have Miss Lulu, Cassandra, Keetra, Ruth, Dr. Rose. We have Miss Pam Jordan from The Pam Jordan family. Ladies and gentlemen, when you get the opportunity, please click on the links in the description boxes and go view some of their videos. They have really great videos. And of course, you know, they all have a different variety of purple bottles that are beautiful fragrances as well. So guys, without further ado, I wanna jump into the fragrances, but I wanna talk a little bit about this. When I think about domestic violence, my mind oftentimes goes directly to women or directly to children because those are the people that I interacted with who shared some things with me that relate directly to domestic violence. But today, as I was doing some research, I had to make myself do a slight pivot because when I read that one in four men have also suffered from some level of domestic violence, domestic abuse, whether it's emotional, physical, mental, verbal, whatever it may be. I also want to make sure that I'm being sensitive, but that everybody watching is also being sensitive to the fact that men can also suffer from domestic abuse as well. Now, let me just say one in nine women are dealing with domestic abuse. So think about your friend circle, one in nine women. So let's say you got a friend circle of about 18 girls or you got 18 good friends, whether it be from work, school, church, a social group, what have you. Two of them are in abusive relationships, if not more. 77 women or 77% of women have suffered from some level of abuse, domestic violence. Not to mention those women who have suffered and they're not cognizant of their suffering. Or not to mention those men who have suffered and they're not cognizant to it, right? Because that's their normal. That is what they're used to. Whether it be that they've saw it from generations to generations and it's been passed on and they think it's normal or they think it's a form of love. Nobody's ever showed me this so much attention. People are suffering from this, okay? So what I want to bring notice to is just a few things that you should be paying attention to 
if you are a friend or if you suspect that one of your loved ones is dealing with some of these things because oftentimes when they're in the situation, they have blinders on so they can't see what's happening. So here are a few signs that you may see. So, or if you're the person in this type of relationship, just take a few notes. So if they hit you, if they beat you, if they strangled you, if they jacked you up, if they pushed you, these are all forms of abuse. I will say that I've heard women say before, oh, he jacked me up, but I was turned on by it. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, he a real man, huh? What? Excuse me? No, no, because guess what? The next time that may turn into a punch, the next time that may turn into a knockout, like we have to do, we have to take a pivot in the way we think about things. Some of the other signs are possessiveness. They're really jealous. They want to remove you from your family. They want you to turn your back on some of your loved ones. They don't like the relationship that you have with some of your friends. Some of these signs are red flags threatens you or your family. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill your family. Um, or just physical or sexually abusive. Oftentimes, people don't realize that because you are in a relationship or because you're in a marriage, they think, mm, they can't be sexually abusing me. Yes, they can. If you're telling them no, if you're in tears, that is abuse. Okay? I heard a lady on the radio the other day and she said, I don't know if I'm being abused or not, but I tell him no and my husband still pushes himself on me, they are abusing you at some type of level. So those are all signs that we all need to be aware of. So there are three fragrances that I wanna share with you that are in purple bottles. So the first one is, listen, this is none other than Wanted Girl by Night by Azaro. You see it, it is a little bomb. This is mystical, it's sexy, it's seductive. I wore this fragrance this, this weekend. Listen, it's Moorish. It's an invitation to wanting more. If you want something that is a man killer, this is your fragrance. And it's so fitting for the season. The next fragrance that I have, listen, this one right here is by Byredo. It is Rien de Nuit. It is really dark juice. It is a rose-based fragrance. It's unique. It's different. This one commands the attention of the entire room. Stop at the entire room. Let's just say the entire building. This is this fragrance. This is Boss. This is CEO. This is you see me. You smell me before I hit the room. I just exited the elevator. Everybody's standing up at attention because they know that she has arrived. This is one of my favorite fragrances of all times. It is deep. It's dark. It's mystical. Um, it is seductive. It is grown woman. This is beast mode in full effect listen the longer i have this fragrance the darker the juice gets and the more seductive and the more boss woman it leans to another fragrance that i have is what i like to consider a i feel pretty type of fragrance this is fig eden by armani Privé. guys this fragrance is green based it's a fruity tea type fragrance you can wear this anytime any place but definitely you know that this is a very much so classy scent like it's so beautiful. I don't reach for it much because I tend to reach for those bolder fragrances at this time of season. But today I put it on because I was just hanging out and about and I wanted something that was very elegant, but I wanted something that was calming at the same time. This is this fragrance. It is very much so versatile. A lot of people deem this one to be very much so unisex. Mm, for me, I feel that it leans a bit more feminine. Um, you can wear it day, you can wear it night, you can dress it up, you can dress it down. Classy, casual, this is that fragrance. If you know the Armani Privé line, you know the type of product that they put out. And this is one that is simply like no other. The last one that I have, I was actually gifted by Fab Finds by Keetra. And it's by Talia Sodi, and it's Absolute Amethyst. Now, I can honestly say that this one has, um, let's talk about some of these notes, tonka bean, vanilla bean, and tequila, okay? It also has a lemon blossom. This is a dark, vampy, cold, 
the coldest winter ever type of scent. This is definitely seductive. It is definitely um, quite intriguing and definitely mystical. Is this something that I reach for often? No, but is this something that I probably should reach for now that I pulled it out? Absolutely. This is something that you might put on if you have on a pair of black leather pants, a nice trench coat a nice something showing a little bit of cleavage. This is that type of scent. It is definitely sex appealing in a grown lady type of way. So guys, those are all of, those are my four fragrances that were in purple bottles within my collection. Guys, there are hotlines hotlines that you can call if you suspect someone being abused and you just want more information. If you are in an abusive relationship and you want it out, there are hotlines that you can call according to your state. I will try to link a few down in the description box below for you. And guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to leave me some type of comment. If you know somebody that's been in that type of relationship, Hit the like button and share me a quick a quick story because I'm going to read them. I would love to know more information. And if you know someone who's overcame this type of situation, share it in the comment section below. You never know who's reading the comments. And don't forget to go take a view at those other ladies' videos because as I stated, they are sharing great information as well as well as great fragrance products. And that's all for now and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now. Let's stay connected on Instagram at It's Perfectly Peachy.